not reasonate the will of my foes, O Lord, for false witnesses rise up against me, and they breathe out violence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. <clears throat> Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth, and from my mother's womb he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword, and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing, uselessly spent my strength. Yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing of your salvation. I will, I will sing, sing of your salvation. salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will, I will sing, sing of your, of your salvation. salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety, for you are my rock and my fortress. O my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth, from my mother's womb. You are my strength. I will, I will sing, sing of your, your salvation. salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice day by day, your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will, I will sing, sing of your, your salvation. salvation. <clears throat> Bless you, Father. And the Lord be with you. Let's thank this word and the reading of the Holy Cross by the hands of our loving Father, the Lord's Church. Amen. Hail to you, our King, obedient to the Father. You were led to your crucifixion like a gentle lamb to the slaughter. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, 
It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those reclining at table realized why he said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, Buy what we need for the feast, or to give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of, one of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? And Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. One thing that, I say it bothers me, one thing that was always confusing is, is that Peter asks this question of John, and then St. John goes to Jesus and asks, Who is it? Who's the one who's going to betray you? And then Jesus, of course, reveals this to them. But yet, for some reason, they don't get it. They're still confused. Even in this most blatant of answers, I always think this is the one time Jesus gives people a direct answer. Most of the time, when someone asks Jesus a question, he gives them some sort of... Uh, cryptic answer that they don't understand. Well, here he's very, very clear. And so I was looking at the comments, the commentator, commentators of this passage, and they, they think that the, the disciples in this moment understood that, that Judas was the betrayer. They knew there was something crooked about him this whole time. But one of the things they thought their presumption was is that Judas would betray Jesus, but at a much later time, this is something way off, you know, maybe weeks or months or years to come. So it's something that they could prepare for. And so it took the disciples by surprise that Judas was, would in fact betray their Lord tonight. And so very often I think that maybe the message for us is that we can have this presumption that God's will will happen in the future, you know, we think, hey, I'm going to pray, I'll pray about this thing, and maybe, you know, God will answer my prayer sometime, you know, months or years down the road. But the reality is, is that sometimes what we think is going to happen long in the future will, in fact, happen now. That God sometimes does answer our prayers in the here and now. And I think there's two things we have to come to, to realize and or accept. First, um, that this in fact is happening now. And how do we embrace that? We have to accept the immediacy of our yes. That, okay, God is really answering my prayers now. This is happening. And then I think, too, do we actually embrace that? 
But I think so a lot of times when, when God answers our prayers, he gives us an answer. Maybe, yes, this is Judas. Um, how do we respond? So I think we can have, we can have this, this docile spirit. Oh, I will, Jesus, I will serve you. I'll do whatever you want. You know, I won't betray you. I won't whatever. Um, and that's good. We, we feel comfortable with that in the future. But then when it actually comes down to it, and Jesus is looking at us, do we want to embrace that? And so, let us, whatever, whatever way it is in our lives, that God is answering our prayers right here and now, even if it's the answer we don't want, we pray and ask for the grace, one, to recognize that, that God is actually answering our prayers right here and now, and then two, let us ask for the grace to have a docile spirit to respond to that in whatever way, even unexpected, that God wishes to answer our prayers right here and now. Now let us offer to our Heavenly Father these our petitions. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Bishop DeGrood, and all bishops, as they guide our church through these trying times, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our government leaders, local, state, and uh, federal, that they will make the right decisions and uh, trust in God to make this pandemic pass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the first responders and all the healthcare professionals being exposed to the sick, that they would continue to dedicate themselves to serving those people in need and be protected through God's mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those suffering hardships due to um, emotional, physical, or financial difficulties, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our beloved dead, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we offer these our petitions. Grant these and all graces necessary for the sanctification of our souls and all through them to the glory of your name. We pray this all through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray on these offerings of your family, and to those you make partakers of these sacred gifts, grant a share in their fullness, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of his saving, for the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Donald, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servant. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true, in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Cassaginus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept the sublation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen, through Christ our Lord, amen. We please, O God, we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, as Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my which will be given up for you. In a 
a similar way with the supper was ended. He took this precious chalice from his holy and venerable hand, <coughs> venerable hand, and once more giving him thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim Amen. your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as you celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension in heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as ones who are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Through Christ, O Lord, amen. Bless also your servants who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Ignite us to beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom we continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called at the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by the same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke you when you humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all his angels.